and gentlemen, your first bout is three five-minute rounds at a 68-kilo catchweight. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, and representing the USA, Jason Santana. Here he comes, uh, Jason Santana. He's unbeaten, but only two fights professionally. He's from the USA and trains with the incredible Black Zillions in Florida. This gym has produced absolutely fantastic warriors like Rashad Evans, Alistair Overeem. So although they've got a really, really good BJJ pedigree, just don't un Let's underestimate their stand-up. We've seen what Rashad Evans has done in the, in the octagon. We've seen what Alistair Overeem has done in the octagon, you know, and in the ring with his K1 pedigree. This guy spars with these guys, and he just should not be underestimated. With an unbeaten record, he's young, he's hungry, he's here to show Abu Dhabi people what he can do, and he wants to go to the big time. He was saying earlier on, he thinks eventually he will be able to fight for a belt, and it won't take too long but, ladies and gentlemen, he's got to show us what he's made of tonight. And on a huge event like this, with such great production, the pressure can get to these guys. Let's see what he's made of. He's getting his checks ringside now. He looks super calm, super confident. But until the bell goes, you really don't know what's going to happen. Very, very relaxed, very calm. And now his opponent, fighting out of the red corner and representing Russia, Pavel Gordiev. Here he comes, Pavel Gordiev, another unbeaten fighter, three and zero as a professional all the way from Russia, and these guys are always hungry. They always come to fight. He's unbeaten. He's got a background in combat sambo. He's a high-level kickboxer. I'd give the wrestling advantage to Gordiev in this fight, uh, but we know that if, um, if Santana's gonna go for a takedown, I think, you know, he'll keep the fight standing to begin with. He'll be shooting him for a takedown, but can he take someone of Gordiev's wrestling background down? Well, let's see. You know, one thing's for sure, neither fighter wants to get his first loss on such a prestigious event as Abu Dhabi Warriors. They know that this can lead to big things. They're both hungry, they're young, they've got championship belts set in their sights. They both look super confident and super, super relaxed for the first opening fight of this show. But, you know, when the bell goes, there's going to be fireworks. I can't wait for this one. Every single fight on this event is like a main event. And I'm so excited. I'm not lost for words, but I just can't get my words out because I just can't wait for the action to begin. Introducing first, the fighter on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 170 centimeters tall, weighing in at 67.3 kilos. His record undefeated, two wins and zero defeats. Fighting out of the USA, Jason Santana. And now his opponent standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 178 centimeters tall, weighing in at 68 kilos. His record also undefeated, three wins, zero defeats. Fighting out of Russia, Pavel Gorgiev. Your referee with the action begins, Dmitry Sazanov. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first fight of the evening on this fantastic event. Everybody's gone quiet as the referee gives them their last instruction, but this is the calm before the storm, trust me. Grant Waterman, here we are, opening up Abu Dhabi Warriors number four. Can you feel it, my friend? I can feel the excitement, Cyrus. You know, these guys look so calm and so confident. They're young, they're hungry, they're both unbeaten. Uh, you know, but I think, there we go, the first point, I think um, Gordiev is going to try and use his kickboxing, his range, and Santana 
very quickly, once he's felt the oh, power, will kick. shoot for the takedown. These are the men that are going to set the pace here at Abu Dhabi Warriors for the first fight of the night. We have Santana in the white, Gorgiev in the black and white trunks. Yeah, Santana landed, landed a, a great body shot there. Feeling each other out here. Yeah. Quick fighters, featherweight fighters. You can't blink. So much action with these. And that was an attempted at takedown. Quickly yep. thwarted by Gorgiev. Yep. You know, Gorgiev's kickboxing background is he's got such a high pedigree. Um, I think once he finds his range, Santana will be shooting for that takedown more and more. Jay-Z Cavalcante in the corner of Santana. Doesn't get much better than that. We know about the career that he's had. And of course, all the tutelage he gets from the Black Zillions group, a fantastic group out of Florida. Nice jab, nice jab from Gorgiev. He has that reach advantage coming in. Gorgiev, and here's a Some big one. Combinations. A flurry, and Gorgiev is looking for the finish. Santana recovers. Gorgiev making this an ugly fight, a stand up war out of the gate. You, you say that uh, he re Santana recovered there, but I, I think he, that really did shake him. He's closed the distance. He's done the right thing. He's letting himself recover. Gordier pushes away, creates some space. Watch the strikes come in now. So composed, so focused. When you look at Pavel Gordier, not giving up any sort of room, continues to move forward. And that was a spinning back fist attempt. Did not quite connect. But it just shows his confidence. Flying knee. Creative striker Santana jumps on. And he's got that north-south. Man, it just shows you how MMA can change in a split second. I thought there that Santana was going to take Gorgiev's back as he went down, but uh, he's too sly for that. And just when you say it, Gorgiev jumps on the back of Santana, where does he go from here? Of course, well, working with the ropes, always an interesting situation. Many of these fighters are kind of used to a cage. It's interesting, you see, if he was, uh, if he was from, oh, I was, was going to say, he'd be getting his hooks in <laughs> and trying to take his back. He's doing the right thing, getting him away from the rope so that he can control him. Quickly locks in underneath the chin of Santana. If he gets that How second, deep is it? That is tight. He's got a body triangle now. Tough, tough spot for Santana, the young fighter. Can he persevere? Or is Gorgiev? And there he goes. He gets out of the choke. Santana's maintaining that, maintaining that wrist control. Gorgiev just can't, man. No separation whatsoever, just sticking to Santana. And now possibly going for the guillotine, yanking back, but to no avail. Very aggressive, Gorgiev. Just from the opening bell, he has been on top of it. Exactly, on him, on him, on him. And I think he's he's showing so much composure, just breaking away. He's patient, but he's, like you say, he's relentless. Santana trying to establish a little offense of his own. He has a little bit of room to make up in the eyes of the judges here, as it's been a very, very... Get the center, get the center. Aggressive round for Gorgiev, and here he comes again, another flurry into the corner. And quickly Santana takes control in the clinch. I don't like it when, when um, Santana gets hit there and he ducks down. He's, he's just leaving his head there and his chin open for one of those knees that uh, Gorgiev is so good at uh, delivering. Less than a minute here in round one. 50 seconds. What Santana need to do to switch the momentum Stay. of this yeah. fight? Let's cut the case. Let's put a pressure Gorgiev on him. Gorgiev has Good. pretty much That's dictated the pace thus Ooh. far. Up. Well, I think the mistake the Santana's right making is allowing Gorgiev to use his range. It's easier said than done, of course. But Good. there, that low nice kick. Low yeah, but met with a quick jab. Yeah. Oh, a little capoeira spin there. All right. Giving the Abu Dhabi fans a show. But how effective was it? Another big nice. left hand sneaks yeah. through. Gorgiev is really doing damage. You know the problem here? He, he did it there, Santana. You know, sometimes you've got to take a shot to deliver a shot. There again. You see the beat up face of Jason oh. Santana. And there's a spinning back fist attempt to no avail. But Gorgiev controls round number one in our first fight here at Abu Dhabi Warriors 4, Grant. 
I know you've been doing interviews with the reporters, just the hype that's going on here in Abu Dhabi any time that we have an event. It seems to be at that same fever pitch this time. Everybody very excited to have us back. You know, the, the, uh, the momentum of Abu Dhabi Warriors is something that we'd like to see increase. We want to see, I mean, we'd like to see a show a week, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Cyrus, but it's, the, the distance between the shows is frustrating. Like you say, the excitement when the shows are announced and close to it, it's fever pitch. Absolutely. The atmosphere here, whether you believe in chi and energy, I don't care because when you get here, you really can feel it. And if I had hairs on the back of my head, they'd be standing up. <laughs> You're missing a few. You're missing a few. And there you go. There was your replay. You saw Gorgiev. With those stiff jabs, that stiff left hand has really been the key for Gorgiev and the flurries. But it's been that left hand that's really done the most damage. And you can see he's such a high-level kickboxer. You can see that when Santana's thinking about delivering it, as soon as he releases the shot, be it a kick or a punch, Gordiev's already seeing what's going to happen. He can read the other guy's stand-up. Your beautiful ring card girl. That is Lucy. Lucy and Nana handling the ring card duties here at Abu Dhabi Warriors. Number four here at the IPIC Arena. Zayada, Sports City. And round number two underway. Another five minutes of action here in the featherweight division. And you know, either fight, ooh, ooh, just right, missed, and he ducks through well, the ropes. He's caught himself up in the, in the ring rope there. Okay. Fight. That would have been a very interesting one if that high kick had landed. There's that left hand once again, a very proficient jab, and met with a right hand from Santana, and a nice flurry combination from Jason Santana, but Gorgiev answers. This is how yeah. you light up a crowd, Grant. Yeah, it's a great first fight, you know, and it's interesting. I said earlier in the first round, um, Santana, perhaps he's got to take a shot to close the distance and land one of his own. If you're outranged by another fighter, you know, and you've got to get past that jab, past that initial counter to land your own bomb. Controlling the clinch, he has been very proficient in the clinch, has Jason Santana, and now Gorgiev pushes him into the corner. But you can see Gordiev's body language here. He doesn't want the fight to go to the ground because he's having such success stood up. Very good to play to your strengths, and Gordiev is certainly doing that. Look for some sort of a separation from Pavel Gordiev. Yep, Santana's tying him up. He's, he's got hold of his right arm there, but you see, I think Gordiev will pull it out. Right there in the corner, Jay-Z Cavalcante barking out orders here, trying to give his fighter the best advice. There we go. And once again, these two separate. Is it going to be Gorgiev, who has more success? That has been the case throughout this fight. I'd like to see Gorgiev. Um, oops. <laughs> that kick landed. I'd like to see Gorgiev land some low kicks to Santana's uh, lead leg. That There's the nice takedown shoot. attempt. Quick squash, quick sprawl by Pavel Gorgiev, not giving up anything in the takedown department. He made that look easy, didn't he? Just a sloppy takedown on the part of Santana. Very, very comfortable. And it's an awkward one, you know. He, uh, Gordier might not have the grappling pedigree of uh, Santana, but he's definitely got the wrestling advantage here. From these guys, combat Sambo and Sambo background, yes. they're so strong in wrestling, it's incredible. Back into the corner, and Gorgiev in control using his knees. Jason Santana just trying to tie up the tough Russian. Now taking the back of Santana, where does he go from here? Can he bring it down to the ground, or does he have any interest? And it looks like he does, looking for a big takedown, Grant. Well, it's interesting that he's, he's looking for the takedown because he's having such, so much success stood up. Um, I mean, in the first round, you know, he, he was uh, attempting some flying knees, those spinning back fists, and he's very, very dangerous. Well, he's listening to his corner. He's right in, the, right in his own corner, listening to his coaches, his Gorgiev. Now, they're speaking Russian, so I don't know what exactly they're saying, but I assume it's great advice. I think from what I understand, <laughs> they're telling him to pop out a jab. Keep, keep, keep him at distance with the jab. Should have known you'd be multi -lingual. Well. 
Just choke. This is just how I interpreted it rightly. We'll see him, we'll see him <laughs> landing a few jabs now. There we go. He has kept Santana on his heels throughout this fight. It's Gorgiev. Not giving him any room. A big right yes. hand sneak through by Jason Santana. You see Gorgiev, just a little wry smile there as well. There's another one of those strong kicks to the midsection by Gorgiev. Those, those kicks, Cyrus, you know, they don't finish people, but they definitely take their toll over the Rides him to the, the ground. Just seems to have the answer for everything, just Pablo Gorgiev. Both fighters undefeated, neither one, of course, wanting to give up that, that first professional loss. Gorgiev works it back to the ropes. Of course, we're all looking forward to our main event when the heavyweights take the main stage. What do you think about these mountain of men when you talk about Buentello and Prindle? Well, man, when, when I saw Eric Prindle in the flesh, it is like something from a film. He, he's an absolute giant. Um, and he, sim he just says simply, very casually, if I touch Paul Buentello, he's going to sleep. Just like that. When a man like that says something like you, you tend to believe him. That well, is going to be a lot of fun. Especially when his arms are as big as your head. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's Once a again. Fist again. Yeah, he, he's ended both rounds one and two with the spinning back fist attempt. That round, I'd still say I'd lean towards Gorgiev, but Santana put up a much better fight. Had his own moments, as we'll see here. Just a few moments with our replay. Now Here's this the is, Ipic Arena. This is where a great corner team, you know, uh, Jay-Z is obviously given Santana some advice at the end of the first round. Do this, do that. Let's change our plan, perhaps, and take it in a different, uh, different way. Let's take a look at that replay, Grant. Big left hand there comes through. That was a nice flurry by Santana. Yeah, but he's just brushing it off. You know, but as I say, so he's given it, he's given them some advice at the end of the first round. The second round is, did that advice work or didn't it? Well, it's really the, pretty much the same outcome as the first, end of the first round. So now, what's the corner going to advise him now? And that's where Jay-Z's experience should come into play. That was and the right hand. There you go. You're right. You're absolutely right. He should have given his fighter the confidence to come out in the third round still believing he can win. They are facing off in the middle yeah, of cool. the ring. Cool. Fight. And here we go, round number three underway. Third and final round between Jason Santana and Pablo Gorgia. And actually, you look in Santana's eyes, he, he's, he still believes he can win this Absolutely. fight. It's, he's not too demoralized. Nice jab. In the second round, his striking got a little bit more confident, a little bit more precise. Can he ride that momentum and give us a good third round? Or is Gorgiev going to continue to control? He has a hold of that leg. But his timing when he caught that kick was beautiful. You know, they call boxing the sweet science, but MMA really is the sweeter science, don't you think? <laughs> I tend to agree. I tend to agree. And yes, I am biased. Of course you are. Nothing wrong with that. So I would assume you would bet the house that uh, Conor McGregor would knock out Floyd Mayweather, yeah? I mean, since you're biased. I wouldn't, I'd bet your house on it, but I wouldn't <laughs> bet mine. Stay tuned for that one. Continuing to jockey for position, these two young featherweights, and we get caught up in the ropes once again. That's, uh, that's a strange thing there, where he's like, that's twice he's been well, caught you know, up we've done how many of these before. Events. I've never right. seen it either. We've done a number of these events, and that's yet to happen. But Jason Santana seems to have a problem getting tangled up. Ooh, big yeah, right hand sticks. Right there. Yep. This is what Santana has to do. Exactly. He's got to come forward. There, left hook there. The momentum shifting is Jason Santana. I mean, he was landing some effective punches there, but, but he was using it to set up a takedown which I don't think he's going to get. Santana really starting to get into a rhythm, but is it too little too late? Rounds one and two seem to be for Gorgiev. That being said, I never try to play judge in this sport. Well, I always advise fighters, don't leave it to the judges. No, absolutely right. 
Oh, big right hand snapped out a big right hook. And here's a combination from Gorgiev. Now we might see things get very interesting, very Rocky-esque here at the end of round number three. These two plugging away. Don't you think Cyrus, uh, whoop, left hook there, you know, and uh, Gordiev's getting marked up around his right eye there. Nice jab again from he, Santana. He's showing some damage. Can Santana put together enough to get a knockdown to Gordiev. put him to the ground? Gordiev is setting up, he's setting up that spinning back fist again. There you go. Gordiev, he's been wanting that spinning back fist from the opening bell. He yeah. finally connects. See, even though I'm old, I can still, uh, I can still see what's happening, but it's so I easy. I never had any doubt. <laughs> it's so easy when you're out here, Cyrus. I mean, we can we can uh, read these fights, you know, and, and say what they should be doing. But when you're in there getting punched in the head, it's a completely different ball game. I would assume so. I would assume so. Gorgiev, once again, on the back of Jason Santana as they inch toward the ropes. And Both he, hooks in. Santana nearly trying to throw him through that bottom rope, just trying to get him off. What I do like is when Gordiev's on the ground, as in the first round, he's controlling Santana and keeping the fight away from the ropes so that they don't interfere with what he's trying to do. Well, and that well, you got to understand with, with the Russian fights, generally they are set in a ring, whereas over in the USA, most of the time you're inside of a cage. Yep, yep. So very much used to it is Pavel Gorgiev, and it's working out in this fight. So would you, are we saying that there so, Sant yeah, you could be right. You know, if Santana's first two fights and his training is mainly in the cage. Octagon. Really, really trying to get up underneath that chin, just putting the pressure on, heavy pressure from Pavel Gorgiev. And he could switch it to a neck crank there, but is it going to be to a... You can't... What do you do? He's in that body triangle. He's putting on the... It's up to Santana to get out of this position and get a quick switch, and I don't know that he can do it. Well, I'm sure he's been put in this position time and time again in the gym. Without a doubt. And now locking up that body. He's got that arm, arm triangle. triangle. Can he get it? Smart move by Gorgiev. That is that ring awareness. Yeah, exactly. As he moves around and tightens it up on Jason Santana. Nope. He's out. That, Good. Is, that is fantastic defense from Santana. Oh, without a doubt. That was very tight. A lesser man would have tapped all day man, long. A lesser man would have tapped. That's the end of the fight. Three hard fought rounds, Grant. And you know what? If that arm triangle was in the first round when they weren't so sweaty and slippery, maybe he would have got it. Maybe he wouldn't. An interesting fight. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to send it to you because you're the man with the knowledge. You've seen more fights than I. Who wins this fight by decision? It, well, I wouldn't bet my house on Conor McGregor beating Mayweather, but I will bet my house on Gordiev winning this fight three rounds to none. I don't think that's a bad prediction at all. You take a look at the replay here. It's interesting when you look back, Cyrus, that, uh, you know, Pavel Gordiev was the standout fighter in the fight. But uh, Santana did land some effective punches all the way through. No, without a doubt, he did. And he hung in there, but it just was not enough. Now it's time to go into the ring for our official decision on this featherweight bout. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of our first fight that opens this show. It's warming people up. Everybody's talking about the main event. Eric Prindle versus Paul Guentello. When giants collide. But here's the decision. Over to you, Cyrus Fees. Let's see what the decision is. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
So there you have it. It's, a gra it's great at the end of these fights. You see them showing so much respect to each other and each other's corners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the award to Pablo Gorgiev, the managing director for Abu Dhabi Warriors, Lubomir Kitchen.